It was amazing. It was amazing just to be able to be out on the floor and work uh, you know, with 20 plus other guys in the league who are phenomenal at what they do. Um, and for me to start and, and that, you know, that felt great. I uh, was happy about it. I enjoyed every single moment of being out there on the floor and happy that, you know, we were able to compete and have fun with it. Do you feel that uh, establish yourself as one of the best players in the league with that uh, appearance? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't think anybody was given given their A game out there, uh, but you know you definitely see you know we're all really good at what we do. Uh, you know everybody is special in their own way, and uh, you know nobody's here by accident. So you know it's just testament to everybody's work and you know who they are as players, and uh, I'm thrown into that bunch as well. Chase. Hey Brad, uh, what was it like playing with Jason Tatum, and and how did it match up to your expectations? It was fun. It was fun, man. That's that's my brother. That's my brother forever. Uh, you know, it was, it was very unique and awesome to be able to share the floor with him uh, for us both to get going. And uh, like I said before, we've never never been on the same team, so that was that in itself, man, was was an honor. We were both ecstatic about it. We're happy. Uh, you know, those boys always have to stick together, so. Uh, you know, we were happy that, you know, we were selected on the same team and we get we got to come out tonight and uh, showcase that for the world. And, and what's it like playing in a game where, you know, the stakes are related to charity money, you know, for each quarter? Yeah. I would imagine that's an interesting dynamic. Yeah, it's tough. It's, it's definitely tough because it makes I wasn't here last year, so I, the, the scoring format was a little weird, uh, but it, it's definitely it was, uh, unique to be able to. Be a part of that is very unique on the league, you know, the PA and everybody to come together and you know, recognize all the charities and uh, giving back to the HBCUs, uh, you know, this weekend. And I think that speaks volumes of, of where we are as a league, speaks volumes, you know, that you know, we're still trying to empower change in this world, um, you know, and level the playing field in all aspects. So, uh, you know, definitely hats off to the league for, for everything they're doing and for every charity that you know, we're out there competing for. Uh, but, you know, it's, it definitely makes it tough because you, you want to win, uh, you know, for your charity specifically. But at the end of the day, there are no losers. Fred? Hey, Brad, just building off of Chase's question, you weren't here last year for the uh, for the new format as well. What, what do you think of the, the three-quarter, you know, winning each quarter and then, and then the Elam ending? Uh, I'm not against it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, definitely keeping the significance with Kobe in mind. Uh, you know, adding 24 points at the end. Uh, but you know, it's definitely. I, I like it. I think it, I don't think it was too bad. I think uh, I'm not sure about the dunk contest at halftime. Halftime was probably the longest I've ever been a part of in my life. But it was uh, overall the game was great. You know, the speed of it. You know, there was no wasted energy or movements. This whole. 24 hours, so it was it was definitely it was definitely good to go the way it did. Valencia. Hey Brad, appreciate you taking the time. You mentioned everything that the NBA is doing for the HBCU, so I wanted to lean in there for a moment. The college experience can be a definite mon monumental time for young adults. What advice would you give to them about finding themselves as they embark on life after college? So funny because uh, I think a lot of people always think they have to have it figured out in college, and I kind of disagree with that. You know, it's uh, some you know a lot of successful people you know don't achieve what they want to. Sometimes later on in life, yeah, you have your unicorns that figure it out you know, at a young age. And, uh, but I'm always I'm a firm believer in just staying the course. You know, uh, you continue to put the work in, perfect your craft. Uh, you know, set goals for yourself and go out, you know, try to do your best to absolutely achieve them. You know, I think uh, blessings and, you know, your opportunities are falling to your lap, you know. Uh, but it's obviously staying, you know, stand on, on pace to, you know, for what you're doing and what you believe in, uh, you know, surrounding yourself around people who are smarter than you, uh, who don't need anything for you and who push you. And, you know, just live life, you know. Uh, don't think that you have to make a, a, your life changing decision right now in college because you have 
the rest of your life to do that. Thank you, Bradley. Zach. Brad, what did it mean for you to, to have your son with you, their first All-Star experience, and obviously it won't be their last? Uh, it was awesome. You know, it was it was amazing because uh, my boys love, they love basketball. And ironically, I don't teach them anything about it. I don't show it to them. Um, I kind of blame my wife for that. But, you know, I just, it's amazing that they want to be here, that, you know, they want to be interactive. And, uh, and that they just love watching their dad play. So, you know, it means the world to me. It makes me want to go out and play super hard, uh, you know, and, and impress them. Because, you know, I can't can't one day down the line, my kids say I was terrible and I'm not really good. So I have to be able to back, back up my talking. I don't think they're going to have to worry about that one. <laughs> Dorothy. Brad, hi. Um, talk a little bit about how important it has been to have all of the fan support um, this year, specifically for you, all the love on social media. And also, what continues to fuel you and motivate you in your career? Uh, I would say you know, I'm, I'm definitely more than appreciative of the fans and their, you know, the love that they're, they're showing. Um, you know, so I'm somebody who I'm not saying I don't care about it, but, you know, that's not a reason I go out and play. Uh, but, you know, in our game of, of basketball and accolades, you know, it is respectful and honorable, you know, to be able to receive that recognition, um, you know, on a national basis. So for that, you know, I'm forever grateful. And, you know, that's part of the motivation to, to continue to get better. Uh, I said this earlier to some some HBCU students, you know, uh, like what's so tough about being in the league is that, it's only 450 jobs. You know, we get 30 guaranteed guys coming in first round every year. Guys, you know, the lifespan in the league is three years, you know, so for that in itself, I use this motivation, you know, the goal, you know, each and every single day, each and every year, each and every summer, you know, I have to get better. I have to add something. I have to improve, uh, you know, because you can get left behind. And, you know, out of the millions of people, the billions of people in this world, you know, only 450 get a job in the NBA to play this game. So, you know, I use that as motivation alone. And then um, it was just my upbringing. My parents raised me, you know, to be a humble man and, and uh, always pushing myself to be better and do more, be my toughest critic. So uh, humble and hungry is my motto I live by. And uh, I always just try to keep that in mind. Thank you. Yeah. Neil. Hey Brad, I was gonna ask about your boys, but a question from the game, you were able to hit six threes which was, you know, more than you had been able to hit in the game. You know, obviously, uh, obviously much different defense. Is there anything, okay, seeing the ball through a basket, you think can maybe translate to the future or is it? It's probably the most open looks I've had all year, right, Neil? Correct. Okay. <laughs> I'll be better in the second half, shooting three, for sure. 